30 seconds. Separation confirmed. Starliner is now backing away from station and starting its return to Earth. Starliner thrusters will then complete two short firings to gradually increase the separation speed to help the spacecraft carefully move away from the orbiting lab. The vehicle is now about two meters away from the International Space Station. At the time of undocking, Starliner and the International Space Station were flying approximately 260 statute miles over central China. Starliner will be beginning a breakout burn soon, which will take the spacecraft forward and above station. During this burn sequence, Starliner's thrusters will perform a series of 12 short firings. The entire sequence takes about five minutes to complete and allows Starliner to quickly break out to outside the approach ellipsoid, or AE. And about four minutes into the burn sequence, Starliner will exit the keep out sphere or the KOS. And you can see those thrusters firing there on the left of your screen as Starliner backs away from Space Station. And we are now just uh, 35 meters away from the International Space Station. We saw a good first burn. Houston ISS, ISS thrusters enabled. Confirmation, all 27 jets have fired. Houston copies, ISS thrusters enabled. And you're seeing the light show there on your screen. And the first three of the 12 firings have completed and there's about a 100 second pause until the fourth burn. plasma that uh, causes the red-orange glow you often see appear in post-flight imagery at uh, the landing site and just five minutes away from landing. All right, and that action you're seeing on your screen, forward heat shield and drogues out. Really interesting view of this uh, coming down from the WB-57. See those two drogue parachutes uh, now deployed. They slow the uh, vehicle down initially until it gets to a, uh, a safe uh, speed for the enormous main parachutes to, to follow. Now back to a view from the Cessna aircraft in the uh, vicinity of the landing site. Again, this is a, a view from a little lower than the WB-57 we were seeing. After those mains are out, we'll see the uh, bottom heat shield that has been protecting uh, Starliner through its journey through the atmosphere come off. That makes way for the landing airbags to deploy. And there's the main parachutes there on your screen. We see three out, currently reefing. And the teams at the uh, landing uh, recovery teams report that they heard uh, booms as those came out. Three good mains fully open there. You can see Starliner in a slight tilt. So we're going to see the rotation handle move here shortly and it will level out Starliner. But three 
good parachutes, looking great. Next up is the back heat shield jettison. And there it goes. That again makes way for the airbag inflation. Nice to see that. You can see the airbags deploying there on your screen. Those airbags are filled with nitrogen as they guide Starliner safely back to the desert floor. just about 15 seconds away from expected touchdown. You're seeing the ground there in your screen as we get closer. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. That landing coming at 11.01 and 35 seconds Central Time, 10.01 and 31 seconds Mountain Time at White Sands Space Harbor at the U.S. Army's Missile Range in New Mexico. Our landing and recovery teams will now wait for clearance before making their way to the spacecraft. One of the changes uh, required with no crew on board is that the team here in the flight control room will be the ones to uh, command the uh, parachute uh, to be cut away so that uh, the wind doesn't pull the capsule along, but uh, that's no problem for them. So uh, now with, uh, with Starliner down, they can begin working on some of the post lane. This again is the drogue parachute still uh, still making their way to the ground after Starliner has touched down with its main parachutes. Touchdown came at 11.01 p.m. Central Time. The team here uh, in Mission Control will be working through some post-landing steps now. View here of Starliner at its landing site in uh, White Sands at Space Harbor. Recovery team is on the move, but I think uh, Leah Cheshire and Josh Barrett, our colleagues out there, may be able to give us one last update. And Leah and Josh, can you hear us?